When the Oregon State football players are putting on their pads and lacing up their cleats tomorrow, they'll be thinking about more than just beating Texas. Fred Thompson will also be on their minds. For the Beavers, winning the Alamo Bowl would be the perfect way to honor their fallen friend. This is a de devastating and tragic event for uh, all of us here. Last December, Oregon State defensive tackle Fred Thompson was playing basketball on campus when he collapsed. At first I thought he was playing, so I walked over there to him and that's when, you know, just he passed. Fred died from hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a condition making the heart thicker than normal. Just days later, he would have celebrated his 20th birthday. And I get this phone call on the road, and I just did not think it was real. I mean, it was, it did not register with me for the longest time that night. One of the buddies up here called me to let me know, and I just broke down right where I was. And uh, it was just, it was, it hurt so much, you, could, you don't even want to think about it, you know? Yet, it's all Ryan Murphy could think about. You see, he and Fred were best friends. They'd been that way since high school, when they shared lunch money, and kept each other on the right track at Tech public high school in Oakland, California. When Fred's dad died from sleep apnea, Ryan was there for him. They took all of their recruiting trips together before deciding to play at Oregon State. We lift them up as examples to this entire community. Signing day was a proud one at Tech, and this same Oakland community, along with Beaver Nation, showed how much love they have for Fred when he passed. About 800 people showed up to his memorial. Fred was a guy who touched everybody. Seeing him bring, you know, our players down to Oakland and then, you know, seeing from people from Oakland seeing that, you know, these guys who we touched, I mean, I, it was just one great moment. People don't do that for too many people, you know, but for Fred, you do that just because you know who he was and the kind of person he was and the kind of love he showed everyone. It was real. I mean, it was two teams and two histories kind of there together to celebrate this young man's life. It was pretty special. What's also special? The way Ryan's handling losing his best friend. I tried to be positive, show my teammates that, you know, everything's going to be all right. Just looking at Ryan, the way he stood strong and stood strong for Fred's mom and for his own mom and other people, it, was, it, was, it made it easier for us to say, hey, you can cry my shorty. With Ryan leading the way, the Beavers made a pact. <laughs> dedicate the season to him and we break on brick squad every time we break and it's just he's here not physically but emotionally and spiritually he's here but it was also neat to see this team kind of pull together with all that and even though fred's not around physically his legacy is alive and well whenever it's, it's quiet you think of fred fred was a loud mouth in the room you know you look at the little wristbands we have and you think of fred but he's always here you know he was a big happy guy I'm so glad you I'd bring him in and I'd have to be mad at him a little bit. You couldn't stay mad at Fred. He was just, he had the greatest smile in the world. He was everybody's buddy. Now their buddy lives on through number 92 stickers on their helmets and the inspiration his memory provides. While a bowl win would be a great way to honor Fred, the Beavers have already given him plenty to cheer about by just getting here.